Dr. Halls, the lead researcher at Mori Station. As of three days ago, five unknown entities were detected leaving the excavation site and soon after we lost communication. After sending out a team to investigate, we found that the excavation site had been abandoned and no sign of life, or so we thought. One of the team members was attacked and was found with a creature attached to his face, although after a few minutes the creature fell off and seemed to be deceased. The team members seemed to be intact and responding, um, so we ended up having them coming back uh, to Mori Station. Um, the team came back, but before we could begin any decontamination, the team member that was attacked, well, he is now deceased. Something had left his body, some sort of creature that was different from the first, uh, which I will refer to as a face hugger. Uh, this new creature was captured and put into a containment unit. Before we knew it, this creature grew to a large size in a matter of a few minutes, and it seemed very aggressive. I could surmise that this creature is extremely smart, for it bit itself, causing it to bleed this extremely acidic substance which led to its escape. It was killed shortly after by our security team. End log. So here we are at the spider spawner on a new episode. Um, obviously, I've gotten no work done. Um, I did uh, clear out the tunnel a little bit, uh, made it easier to get over here. Uh, but I wanted to do this with you guys, uh, mainly because I don't know how I'm going to do this. And we're going to figure it out freaking together. Uh, so I'm trying to think. So the spider, the spiders, they will spawn and they'll climb up. And I don't want them to climb up. I also have the here, I have the mob crusher here. Um. <gasps> Ooh. Actually, this could work. This could work. Okay, so we don't want it. We're gonna, we're gonna do that. And it goes up three blocks. So I'm gonna basically that and we're gonna make this chamber only three blocks tall so that all spiders within this small chamber will be destroyed just like that now let's see one, two. so i wonder i might have to i'm gonna have to make one of the upgrade modules but hell, just doing this go like that yeah that could work and then all we got to do is just close it up here just like that we'll upgrade it uh we'll put in an upgrade module that'll basically spread this out oh actually i'm gonna have to move it forward looking at it it's okay though so we'll put it here there we go Just like that yeah and then it should just grind them all up uh, from there so let's go let's see I don't want to do this okay there is a lava pool over here I am gonna need that is this on oh, no, no no bucket mode on okay and then what level is this lava on it is on Y2 oh yeah we got to go down quite a bit There's the lava. Perfect. And then we're just going to fill this up, basically. Oh, well, <laughs> there goes that. Alright. Uh, there we go. Now it's full. Yep, 32 buckets. Bring this back up to here. And then I gotta get a... 
me uh, four. And then just two more. Just like that. Yeah, that should be good. And then we got to set these up, um, which we will put them all on there like that. Perfect. Where it is. There it is. No. Forgot I have to like crouch to do that. Just like that. And one up above. And then let's see, we gotta put Universal cables. Nope. Just like that. Have it come out here. And then we'll do one, two, and three. Perfect. Bam. Just like that. So now we have power going through there. Uh, now we just need to get it into this little thing in the jig here. So I'm gonna have it go in through the bottom. Ah, oh, dang. I think I brought... Didn't I bring steel? I did. I mean, I'm going to have to go back anyways because we don't have... What do we not have? We don't have something. <laughs> I can't think. My brain is mush. Oh, yeah, we don't have the upgrade module. Um, So we're going to need that. So we have that. Uh, let's probably eat a little bit. Take that off. And where is ah? Luminant fixtures. Boop. Uh, let's boop. It's red. Look at that. Because of the redstone there. Kind of cool. Light this up just a tad bit. And then we'll we'll go through and close off like all these little entrances and exits. Uh to... <laughs> we'll, we'll close off all these entra entrances and exits. Um I'll probably do that off camera. And then I'll I'll put a rail a rail car in here um, to make our travel to here just a little bit faster. Perfect. We might actually have enough lights to get all the way back home. Oh, maybe. Yeah, no, because it's it's right right about here, it's right here when you go up. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll I'll do that off camera. That's not something you guys really need to see. Um, but. Oh, it's just zombie. I was like, oh, what is that sound? Face hugger or xenomorph. So we'll come back to here. Awesome. Uh, so this has power, which is great. Now I just need to get the upgrade module for it. I also need to get this set up. So I'm going to have a Dissolution chamber. How do I want to do this? I guess I could. Oh, yeah. I'll put a mechanical pipe here. Dissolution chamber there. And then we'll have a logistical transporter pipe there. Uh, we'll have it so it's not connecting there. And we're going to put a double chest. Uh, just right there. That should be fine. And we will have it pull. Pull. Like that. So now all of the spider stuff will get put into here. And then all of the um, experience will get put into here. And will get turned into um, bottles of experience. 
So that should be awesome. I do need to connect it to power though. Like that. Perfect. All powered and good. Awesome. Close this off. And I'll make it look pretty and stuff. Probably off camera. Um, but that's pretty much it. So let's head back. Uh, unless I can... No, because I need, I need latex. Sorry. So yeah, let's head back. Um, we're going to go get that stuff set up. And um, get that upgrade. And then we should have a fully working um, place. Oh, I also forgot... While we're over here, I'm going to put a chunk loader here. So I managed to figure it out. I got the FTB chunk loading stuff. So we're going to do this. And I'm going to load that chunk. Right? It should just be this. And... Oh, is everything in this chunk? I think everything, everything might be in this chunk. Interesting. So like, if I really wanted to, I'm going to load those two chunks. Oh, wait. Yeah, wait, I want force load. Oh, shift. Okay, so shift left. Got it. All right. So force loaded. So these are going to be force loaded. So these will load all the time um, and should keep it running. Uh, so honestly, if I really want to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break that and we're going to block it off. Yeah, we've already got spiders spawning in there. Perfect. So at some point, if it goes into that little spot, it'll break it and get put into here um but for right now let's head back let's go get that upgrade thing and then we'll come back and get it upgraded so i'll be right back okay so i ended up finishing the tunnel or at least yeah, digging it all the way out and putting lights all the way through it so we're all good there um and i made ourselves the tier 7 extra range unit um i haven't collected anything so let's put that in there Should have. Okay. Yeah, this is the whole, the whole working area. Oh, essence. Hey, there we go. All right, it's working. Hey, it's working. All right. Um, so now this should just keep going forever. Um, is there a way to like maybe make it better, or faster, or we'd have to work on the spawner itself, right? What are these two dots? Oh, they're above us. Okay. Oh. No. Are they here? Are they below them? Not sure. Well, let's try. Is there coal around here? Maybe. What is this? Lead ore? No. I need coal. Have I collected coal? Not. That's dumb. Hmm. I'm going to try and light up the area up here. But you know what? I think it's fine. Okay, 
So, oh, oh, did a skeleton? Oh, what if a skeleton spawned in there? Okay. All right. Well, this works now. So, I mean, I guess we just let it run. Uh, yeah, I guess we just let it run. Cause I don't need to be in the area, right? If the if the chunk loader is 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 here, I shouldn't need to be anywhere near it. If I'm correct, I think. Um. Make it bigger, maybe? Like, would that make it faster? I just want to see what is the. Oh, that's the range. Okay. So that's. That's good. So let's. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got it. So let's try. Let's try expanding it. Maybe. So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like that. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's not at all what I wanted. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That closed off. Okay. Now I wonder. Oh. <gasps> does it go further? Oh, it does. Oh. Oh, lovely. Like, I'm fine making this as big as possible, honestly. Right up to here. Spiders are spawning somewhere else. They... No, they're not spawning down here. Oh, he immediately died. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if I'm just hearing them and they're like immediately dying after. That might be what it is. Okay, so that's good. Let's put a bunch of this stuff away. Something. No! You dead. There we go. So now, if anything else spawns in this chamber, uh, it'll die. 
Um, now I, I want to see, I want to make sure. Oh yeah, this entire thing. Yep. <laughs> it just vanishes. Uh, let's see. No light. No light whatsoever. This thing creates light, but I don't know if it really affects it. Maybe? I don't know. There we go. So, I think at this point, I just need to let it run. Seven bottles of enchanting. Yeah, I'm going to let this run for a little bit. I'm going to... What I'm going to do is we're going to go back uh, to base. We're going to stand there. And we're going to wait. Um, obviously not on camera. Or, well, actually, I guess we could... We're going to wait till it's nighttime. Then we're going to go off and we're going to go explore a little bit. Um, well, it's dark. Um, and maybe, maybe we'll find some xenomorphs or something. Um, and we're going to let it run. Uh, so hopefully it'll actually run and do some cool stuff. And we'll get a bunch of enchantment. Uh, or Yeah, enchanting. Or we get a bunch of experience. I can't speak for the life of me. Yeah, we're going to go off, explore, and uh, next episode, I'd like to get the enchantment set up. Um, if this is working, which it should be, next episode, we'll get the enchantment set up, um, enchantment table set up. So I think right now, we're just going to go explore and maybe find a sugar cane. Um, even though I could make, uh, I could use sawdust and make a bunch of paper with that, but I want to go out, I want to go explore. Um, and walk around and find some stuff. So that's that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, let's. I should be I should be okay with the stuff I have on me, right? Yeah. I should make some more. Um. 12 gauge ammo. Here, my shotgun. We're gonna do that. That should be good, right? Yeah! I thought I made more than that, but I guess... Oh, no, I did. Oh, oh, I almost made two stacks. I was like, oh, that's weird. Interesting. All right, cool, 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 cool. So we got that. Now we can put the rest of this stuff away. We've got all of our guns on us. Perfect. All right, let's go have some fun. Go explore, go find some sugar cane, travel. Go see the world, you know. And oh, it's raining. Oh, no, it's not. I can't tell. Is the sun coming up? Or is it going down? Oh, it's it's going down. Oh, perfect. We got out at the same at the at the, 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 the perfect time. Okay, do I want to take... Do I want to take my helicopter? Do I? Or do I want to walk around? Ooh, there's another meteor there. Uh, let's take, let's take the helicopter, you know? We're going to take the helicopter, get to a, a good distance, and just kind of walk around and find cool stuff. And there's a structure over here, so I wanted to check that out. Uh, not, not that one. Like, we'll stop it. You know what? We'll go to, we'll go to civilian site, too. That's where, that's where we're going to go. Perfect landing. Awesome. Got our helicopter with us. 
Uh, doesn't look like this area has been decimated by xenomorphs yet, because we have quite a few yellow yellow signals, yellow dots. So let's get our, our main man out here. And I want to go check out this little structure that's over here. Like I said, I mean, last episode we realized that, uh, uh oh. Last episode we found out that our, our guy won't, um, he can't get attacked by the face huggers. So that's good. So we're, we're gonna let him do his thing. And he'll be able to save us if we ever get attacked by a xenomorph or a face hugger. I just wanted to see what this structure was. What is this? Is there an entrance? Ah. Perhaps. Oh. Oh, that's that's it. Oh, there is stuff underneath. No. No, there's not. There's, there's nothing. Okay, well, <laughs> I was like, oh, there is. Not really. Okay. Well, let's go find some water and, uh, try and look for some sugar cane. Any water nearby? Ah, river. Down to the south. Let's go to the south. Some sugar cane. I'll probably be doing like cuts through all of this, so you're probably not gonna see everything, but if anything exciting happens, you'll definitely be the first to see it. Uh oh. He's just gonna sink. Yeah. I forgot. He doesn't do well in water. Okay, we got phantoms Oof, out of here. Yeah, I forgot I didn't go to bed, so... I haven't slept in a few days. That's okay. They're pretty easy with having a, uh, a shotgun. Uh, still looking for sugarcane. We got a little bit, um, because what, we need... Three for a book, so we need 45. Pretty sure, 45 sugar cane. Or, wait. No. How many do we need? Because you need 15 books. Or not 15 books. You need 45 books. So that's 45 leather. So 45 times three is 70 and then 115 yeah 115 so we need 115 
sugar cane. Holy smoky olies. So two stacks. We'll get two stacks of sugar cane. That should be good. Pineapples. Interesting. I'll definitely take those. Oh, an asparagus. Oh, holy crap. Heck yeah, more crops. I keep forgetting, we have Farmer's Delight now, so we really need to get into doing that. So, at some point, we will. But for now, we have another objective. Okay, so I ended up making my way back to the Anomaly site in Civilian Site 1, and I, I want to stick around here because I didn't see, I did not see anything. No runners, no facehuggers, or nothing um, out where we were, so I wanted to try and see if we could maybe find anything over here, um, but I was also curious... Xenomorphs and everything like to try and like hide in caves during the day. So I'm wondering if like maybe there's maybe some of them hid down here. Although most likely not. So I don't think they would go this this deep. Hmm. Yeah, no, this is just a dead end. All right, yeah, they definitely didn't come down here. Well, it was worth a try. I definitely want to stick around here and see if we can... See if we can catch a Xenomorph uh, walking around. Because um, you've already seen runners. I have seen a... Uh, what's it called? Like, we've already seen runners. I've seen an Aqua Xenomorph... Um, and the only normal xenomorph that we've that uh, that we've all seen have been in the uh, the actual nest or the the dungeon. So I want to find an 
actual xenomorph running around. But it also makes me think, do I need to... Do I need to get a face hugger uh, to attach to a, a villager? Is that something I need to need to possibly do? Although I also haven't seen any face huggers recently. What did you kill? Huh. Well, there was no acid, so it wasn't anything that we've come across or that we're looking for. Oh, 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 there's acid over here. I see the purple. I see the purple. What's going on? What's going on? What happened? What happened? What happened? What died? I want to know what died. It was probably a face hugger. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I saw him. I saw face huggers. I want to see what happens. I want to see what happens. I want to let them do their thing. Cause I'm like, we're not seeing anything. There's no activity whatsoever. So I'm like, I want to see. I want to see some action. I want to see some some xenomorphs. Although, what was that? Yeah, no, they're just fighting normal zombies and stuff. Dang it. I'm like, should I kill off all the guards? Is that what I need to do? Oh, oh, oh. A bunch of stuff died over here. What happened? Oh, it was a bunch of zombies. Okay. Interesting. I don't want zombies. I also kind of wish that sound would like attract the xenomorphs. Would be kind of cool. Anything here? No. Ooh, my stomach just rumbled real loud. I may or may not be very hungry in real life. Oh, and in Minecraft, actually. Let's eat. Wow, very uneventful. Mucho uneventful. Wow! Oh, he just, I turned him into a red mist. That's lovely. You'll love to see it. I'm like, at this point, I was wasting my ammo. Killing other things. Oh my goodness, look at all these creepers. Ooh. 
Oh, now it's raining. Oh, does that mean bad stuff's about to happen now? Because, you know, it's raining. Storming. Okay, so I have an idea. We have this entire area here. This, this civilian site one. It's right next to the excavation site. What if we slowly started to turn this into an actual safe zone? Um, and worked on it? So, that way we're over here more often. And we're just kind of building this place up. And, uh... I don't know. Like, it'll cause things to spawn here more often. And... Possibly some xenomorphs and possibly some nests and stuff like that. Um, we could end up making uh, an actual lab over here as well um, and set some stuff over here. I think that might be a good idea. So let me know like some builds, some uh, some buildings, some jobs we should give some of these villagers here um, at this area. Uh, but I think that would be kind of a cool a cool idea um, is to have that stuff like an actual place. Um, set up here. So I might get to work on getting supplies for that. We could also start building farms and stuff over here as well. Um, like this could be one of a couple safe zones that we have. I think that would be kind of cool. Alright, uh, let's see if we don't have anything else down here. I'm just, I'm almost at a slightly disappointed that I'm not seeing any xenomorphs or... I mean, we found those runners, but runners don't create nests. Um, the xenomorphs will actually, like, grab creatures and villagers and run off with them uh, and put them in the nest and turn them either into facehugger eggs or will uh, give them to a facehugger and create more xenomorphs. So, like, but we don't, we're not seeing any of that and I want to see it. Yeah, so that's, I think that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we're going to make a base here. I think that's what we should do. Um, and we'll add on to that one. Or, yeah, we'll, we'll add on to that one and maybe mess with it a little bit. 
Um, and then we'll we'll do that. That'll give me some more stuff to do. Um, but let's head back. Yeah, we're gonna head back home and we're gonna go to the spider spawner and I just wanna see um, how well it's doing because if it's doing good, then awesome. We'll have a bunch of experience and then we can get started on making the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the library for all of our enchanting needs. And I'll have to think of like a way to make the library look like a a lab, like the the enchantment setup to look like a lab of some sort. Um, modernize it a little bit so that way it's not just like this, you know, mystical, magical, you know, uh, chamber for putting spells on things. Like I want it to look more scientific and modernized, or futuristic rather than fantasy. So. There we go. On our way all the way to it. I really need to get, uh, ooh. There's some red dots over there. That means items. And that also makes me think that there might be an aqua xenomorph over there. I'm going to leave him if there is one um, because I want to see, I want to see like what, what, what will he do? Oh, you know what? Those red dots are eggs. <laughs> They're chicken eggs. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Never mind. All right, let's, let's go to the, let's go to the spider spawner. If there ends up being an, an aqua xenomorph, I wanna, I'm gonna leave it because I wanna see if it'll actually make like an aqua nest. I don't know if that's a thing. Cause I think, I think only the normal xenomorphs will make nests. I'm not entirely sure about the aqua xenomorphs. And I know runners don't, um, but there are other things than just those three. I'm excited to get into them. Cause I think um, there's like a, a hunter thing that will turn invisible. So that's, terrifying um and then i think there's one more thing after that i'm not sure but i think that stuff involves the black goo so we'll have to obtain some black goo and mess around with it do some tests with it and whatnot i'm gonna check on this really Well, that's dumb. Is it just not like working? Cause we were we were out there for a while. I don't I don't understand. Yeah, they're force loaded. Okay. Yeah, they're all force loaded. So why? Hmm. I don't know why it didn't, or it's not like exactly working. I may have to just sit here AFK. We'll do that. I'm gonna sit here AFK um, at least off camera um in between episodes so it means i'm gonna end i'm gonna end the episode off here um this was a a, a very short episode so i do apologize um but i want to get i want to let this run for a little bit and then i'm gonna start coming up with some ideas for the next episode uh for us making um not only the library and everything or the enchantment room the lab um but i also want to get into making some more um, or starting the safe zone colony or whatever at civilian site one. Um, start getting that built up uh, and defended roughly. Um, I think that would be a lot of fun. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it off here. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, leave a like down below. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. <gasps> bye bye.